Brigantia Blackwood of Blackwoods Brew. Happy Sunday and welcome to the Hava Mall series. This week we are looking at verse 23 and we are comparing and contrasting three different translations. The first translation reads, The wise, unwise man is awake all night and ponders everything over. When morning comes, he is weary in mind and all is a burden as ever. That's by Olive Bray. Next translation. The stupid man lies awake all night and worries about everything. He's as tired out when the morning comes, and all's just as bad as it was. And that's Carolyn Larrington. And our last translation reads, Foolish is he who frets at night and lies awake to worry. A weary man when morning comes, he finds all as bad as before. And that is by W.H. Auden and P.B. Taylor. So, I think this establishes that sleepless worrying accomplishes nothing. Sometimes when we lay down at night, instead of drifting off to sleep to restore ourselves, our brains switch on and go into review and analyze mode. And it's quite difficult to make that stop once it starts, but it doesn't benefit us to give in to that kind of thinking, especially when we need our rest. Nothing constructive actually happens, and it just increases our sense of anxiety. And then we begin the next day, mentally and physically exhausted, and that doesn't exactly help us solve any problems. So fighting insomnia that's driven by fear, anxiety, and dread, I will admit this is not easy. But resigning ourselves to not getting rest and just giving our minds over to the anxiety and the worry and everything else, uh, that isn't going to do us any good. So meditation, and I want to stress meditation, not worry thinking. But genuine meditation can go a long way to dissipate the energy that keeps us awake, and this can also help us bring our troubles back into perspective. And if we get that quiet within our spirits, it makes it much easier to sleep, and that in turn puts us in a better position for problem solving the next day. Uh, failing to get our emotions and our minds under control is self-defeating and foolish indeed, and I think that is the ultimate thrust of this particular verse. But now let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you have a somewhat different take? Let me hear all about it. I would love to know. Or you could come see us on Discord at Blackbirds Brew. There is a link to join in the description box below, and we would love to have you. But that will do it for now, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.